the the key change over the last 24 hours for us is the addition of uh, additional maritime patrol reconnaissance aircraft. Uh, you know as well as I do, uh, there is now essentially a northern zone and a southern zone uh, to search uh, in the Indian Ocean. Uh, currently, we have now assigned a P-3 Maritime Patrol Reconnaissance Aircraft to cover the northern zone flying out of Kuala Lumpur. It has about a 12-hour endurance. That gives it four to five hours on station. We're taking the newest uh, asset that we have in theater, the P-8, and we're actually sending it to Perth, Australia, and on the way, it will cover the southern zone, and then we'll fly out of Perth uh, to continue that wide area search. So the real issue there is using this Maritime Patrol Reconnaissance aircraft, both the P-3 and the P-8, to do these wide area searches. You know, the P-8, uh, we have six of them uh, out here with VP-16, the squadron that uh, deployed with them. They've been in the Seventh Fleet uh, since November of 2013. Uh, phenomenal capability. The P-3 is a great aircraft, a great maritime patrol reconnaissance asset. And the P-8 kind of moves that up a notch. Uh, one of the things I like to tell everybody, you know, that inevitably somebody will ask a question about the uh, Indo-Asia Pacific rebalance and what that means. The U.S. 7th Fleet, we get the best and we get it first. And so when you look at that, it's really, you're going to talk about capacity and capability, and we just get these phenomenal uh, capabilities that we're seeing with the P-8. And without beating this one too hard, uh, the reliability, the range, the speed is definitely a step up. But thanks for the question. Are, there are you pursuing ships? new leads? Are, new per are you pursuing new leads in um, the search? We are responding.